Hello. It's that time of year again. The giant transfer window is upon us. Having not played for two weeks due to a positive COVID-19 cases, the Blues are eager to get back and put together some positive performances. Inconsistency has been riddling Ipswich this season, performances and results not matching up and the manager's future being questioned. You've only got to look at the form of Guion Edwards before injury to see the importance of pace, directness, bringing the confidence in front of goal for the wide positions. Recently, Ipswich have been linked with 21-year-old attacking midfielder Luke Thomas of Barnsley from the EADT. You can also operate on either flank or at central midfield. Thomas comes with potential having come through Derby's academy and being sold for over £1 million to Barnsley. Consistent playing time and position have been hard to come by with only 17 appearances with one assist so far this season. With Ipswich along with Sunderland and Oxford keen admirers of the 21 year old, I feel he'll best work out wide as an inverted winger, cutting in off his favoured left foot on the right hand side of midfield. His spell at Coventry City during the 18-19 season in League One, where he managed 4 goals and 5 assists and 43 appearances from the right wing, was a prime example of what we can expect from him, being direct with the ball, cutting inside defenders, taking shots at goal, the kind of attack and threat out wide you want to see. From what I've seen, he seems a player more suited to League One level currently. He's only managed 2 goals and 7 assists in 67 games played for Barnsley in the Championship. On the face of it to the outsider, someone who's not familiar with Luke might be quick to dismiss this signing as more of the same from PL and Co. A lonely out of favour at his club, the whole question of developing someone else's player is surely banned in the bat again. But with next to no injury issues from memory and that backed up from our transfer market, a player with pace and a proven track record at this level, there's plenty to be excited about. Even with limited game time, he's played enough games to not suffer from lack of match fitness, so there's no worry of having to get him up to speed like Keenan Bennett's who had an injury and lack of game time to overcome before coming back to England. Were if Sunderland and Oxford involved, I guess it will come down to where his services and game time are going to be beneficial for him to make the greatest impact.